is Timur Zaman. I hope you watched the last video. You took lots of notes and you did the exercise. If you haven't, I'd love for you to stop this video right now. Go to the previous video and do your exercises on that because I think it will make this one a lot more uh, powerful, uh, useful for you. You know, have you ever gone into a boardroom and when you're in a conversation that's important to you, while you're presenting an idea, your budget, your project, whatever, the per the people around the table are kind of like, you know, one or two of them are just checking their emails, texting, doing whatever they're, they're doing. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, have you ever felt you presented an idea, a proposal, and it just simply got declined and you just don't know what happened? Has that ever, have you ever kind of experienced that? Uh, have you ever been in a hallway meeting where the person you're communicating to, you could kind of see their head is actually somewhere else? Well, in this video, I want to uh, give you the Hollywood version of storytelling and to, uh, for you to start to use their concepts to kind of take people that are on devices when you're in a meeting with them and turning them into, they're now in a movie theater paying attention to you, the key star. So, so a little bit about storytelling. Uh, there are multiple different modes of storytelling for different scenarios. And one of the most popular uh, storytelling techniques is the Hollywood version of storytelling. And I want to share, start with you, uh, share with you some recipes that Hollywood uses in telling stories that engages you and I. Uh, Hollywood makes over $86 billion every year in telling you and I stories. And I believe you and I have some favorite movies that we could kind of refer to, relate to, like that. One of my favorite Hollywood movies is Braveheart. Uh, and in Braveheart, you kind of, you could say the English kingdom or the English king was the villain. You could say the Scottish Rebellion or Mel Gibson was the hero. Uh, and so, uh, you know, one of the things that I want to share with you a little bit about Hollywood's version of storytelling is how Hollywood goes about putting together really engaging movies. There are five key steps every Hollywood movie has, and the first step is what I call the setup. The setup is, um, it's usually about the first, you know, 10 minutes of every movie. The director does the setup, and it's an opportunity for you and I to kind of uh, go into from our world into their world where we get build a relationship in which time in history is this movie taking place. Uh, the setup is used as a time for you and I to build a relationship with the hero of the story or with the villain of the story and with just the different characters. So the first part of every Hollywood movie is the setup. The second step is the introduction of the villain the, the evil person or the bad thing or whatever it is. But some version of the villain uh, gets